Hello, welcome to the Porsche Travel Blog. I'm Stuart. And I'm Christina. And we're here just to give you a quick guide to the packing guide on Holland America's ships. Uh, we're currently on the New Staten Dam. And, uh, it's a Mediterranean cruise, um, so it's hot weather. And uh, last year we were on Oosterdam, and this packing and dress code guide applied to both cruises that we've been on. So now we've experienced two. So I would imagine this would uh, apply to all the ships in the fleet. So. That's it. It's great. Every morning you get the daily newspaper, or it's delivered to your cabin the night before, and that will tell you what uh, tonight's attire is casual or if it's formal. Uh, we're on a two week cruise, so there's usually one formal night each week, so two formal nights in the whole cruise. On the formal nights, uh, for gentlemen, it would be trousers. Most people just wore trousers, shirt, and a jacket, such as voila. Simple. Um, I only saw two gentlemen in dinner jackets, so to be honest with you, I wouldn't worry about bringing out all your finery. Um, just a smart jacket and trousers is, is ample. You and for do. ladies? Yeah, I mean, I, I love traditional cruising and I love to, to put a dress on, so yeah, I sort of brought, it's not too heavy or beaded, but yeah, a couple of nice, nice evening dresses and high heels. It's just lovely to have the opportunity to wear it, so I, I, I do love that. Love and most people up. did dress up. Yes, they um, did. Yeah. On, we just went on NCL recently, and nobody dressed up at all, ever. No. Uh, so this is a bit more traditional, um, and on the gala nights, people do make an effort, which was lovely. Um, other nights, all the other nights, is uh, casual. Um, and for casual, there's quite a few people on here who are pretty casual and flip-flops and uh, maybe a beach dress or something some of the ladies were wearing, weren't they? Yeah. Um, but mostly the gents wore trousers and open shirt, pretty relaxed, and the ladies had just put an out trousers and an outfit on or yeah, casual. So, but I mean, I wouldn't go to the extremes of wearing beach wear in the dining room because it's still, this ship is a five-star ship and it does feel more, you know. More people do dress up, don't yeah, they? Yeah, more just traditional, not casual, more yeah. traditional. Uh, they do have a, a themed night um, oh, yeah. once probably in the cruise and it's the, uh, due to their Dutch heritage uh, they have an orange <laughs> night so last year when we were in Oosterdam I didn't have anything orange so this year I packed my orange pumps and orange shoes and yeah it's just a bit of fun really and to, to dress up and, and they have a party on board yeah. uh, and I wouldn't say a lot of, uh, maybe people didn't realise last night but there was only about 25% of people wearing orange um, but it's nice to you know if they just make an part. orange night it's nice to sort of take part and even for ladies if it's just a passion or orange pashmina or anything. It's just a um, gents were wearing pill. orange. I had an orange shirt. Or an and orange hanky or whatever. Yeah, anything, think, just with yeah. a splash of orange. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's the orange night, which is usually once in a fortnight, isn't it? That's so, it. Um, From our, our channel, questions were asked, do I need to take beach towels? Mm -hmm. No, on Holland you don't. They um, supply you two lovely towels that you can take to the beach, take ashore with you, uh, and they'll be given, you just throw them on the floor and you'll be given clean ones as, as and when you require them. So um, no yeah, problem Yeah, so don't there. pack any towels. There's plenty more pool towels upstairs as well around the pools that you can take and just bring back exactly, to your cabin Exactly, yeah, the and they're the just readily available. So yeah, don't bring heavy, heavy towels with you. Um, remember to pack a good sunscreen as well, and obviously depending on the destinations you're in. Uh, uh, another big question we get, have you got hair dryers on board? Well, actually on here they have, and they're in the bag. And it's a modern hair dryer, um, so quite powerful, not like one of those ones that you have in the bathroom that just blows really lightly air. So the ladies, if you want a hair dryer, there's, that's fine. Don't worry but about Christina's that. got one of these posh dyes ones that she does bring it's her just, own. Yeah, uh, but if you're happy with just a regular hair dryer, that's that. Beach, want... beach bag, I was going to say as well, sorry, going back to that. But um, yeah. they do give you a little little beach bag, but it only takes probably two towels, so it might be worth just Yeah, it's pretty small. Beach bag. You can't get much in it. No. <laughs> so maybe bring your own. And uh, makeup mirror as well to go with the hairdryer, so they do supply one of those. Um, great laundry package option. So if you if you are travelling like with a low cost airline, um, you could take advantage of that. It's laundry by the bag and it's it's available all the time. Sometimes on other cruises they only do these offers on like once at the towards the end of the cruise. So this is available all the time, it's thirty-five really uh, dollars a bag. And then you can have unlimited laundry and pressing for one four seven dollars. That's for fourteen which days. Is pretty fair, for 14 I Fourteen days, one hundred and forty-seven dollars, which is really good actually. Yeah, and it's not just a wash and fold; it comes back beautifully pressed on that unlimited. So um, I think that's quite a good, a good deal. Um, products on board again. Do you need to bring your own shampoos and conditioners? If you follow our channel, you know I love my products. But on um, Holland, it's Elemis, all Elemis products. Yeah. Body lotion, shampoo, conditioner, really, really lovely stuff. So don't worry, bring heavy, bring 
heavy products along so with So quite you. frankly, you don't need to bring that much. No. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a good pair of walking shoes. We're doing the uh, Mediterranean at the moment, so there's plenty of walking, Italy, Greece, and Turkey. Um, I think that's it. Think oh, one uh, bottles of water. Someone oh, yes. asked a question on our channel. Can I pack bottles of water, which I thought was a really unusual thing to ask because uh, they, they weigh so much and they would take all the room up. Um, but Holland are very good, and they, we brought these on, but they'll allow you to bring bottles of water on. So you don't have to worry. Um, they do supply a bottle, of, a bottle of water in your mini fridge, but it is $6 plus 18% charge. Whereas I picked six of these up for two euros in Greece so. the other day. So, And they were fine. They let you bring them on no problem at all. Um, alcohol, however, if you're thinking of putting a bottle of whiskey in your uh, suitcase, then that might be an issue because yeah. they do scan the bags and you're not allowed to bring alcohol on. And you do have to declare when you come from ashore if you're bringing any alcohol in and they will scan your... And you'll have your bags sort of as you go ashore as well to check. Confiscated, but they give it back to you at the end of the end of the cruise. So um, yeah, it probably isn't worth bringing the alcohol on. No, I wouldn't. So. Yeah. But most people are on have it all anyway. So you've got your drinks included. So. Um, so I think that's it. I think it is. I hope you found that Just useful. A quick one. Um, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel, the Posh Travel Blog, and give us a thumbs up. Uh, we are covering dining guide, ship tour, cabin tours. So. Uh, Please subscribe, it means so much yep, to there's us. More, and I'll yeah. keep feeding more videos on as we go along on the cruise. Uh, yeah, and we've been putting uh, stuff on inter Instagram as well of our daily activities and tours that we're, we're doing. So if you Yeah, so you can see, and parts of the ship, we do reels and things on the restaurants and stuff. So you can actually see the ship um, on yeah. our Instagram channel. On a day-to-day -day basis. So, so. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.